school by himself. He's a little scared man. He's a very small, scared man. Welcome back, fight fans. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most explosive controversies in boxing history. A tale of corruption, betrayal, and a legend's tarnished legacy. I'm talking about the time Mike Tyson dropped a bombshell on the boxing world, accusing Floyd Mayweather of bribing a referee during his rematch with Gotti. Get ready for a shocking revelation that rocked the sport to its core. Let's be real. We were all expecting Floyd to go in there and school Gotti. Floyd had no reason to cheat his way to victory. Well, that's where you're wrong. Mike Tyson spilled the beans on this drama and things are looking more tense than ever. Because what Floyd did during this fight is something that's never been done before. He fired the ref mid-fight and brought in another one. If that doesn't raise eyebrows, then I don't know what will. There's a lot to unpack with this one, so without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the action. Mike Tyson, a living legend, is known for never holding back. So when he reveals something shocking, you know it's about to get real. But did Tyson just accuse Floyd of bribing a ref? Let's break it down. First, let's rewind a bit. Floyd Money Mayweather is undefeated and arguably one of the greatest to ever step into the ring. And then we have John Gotti III, coming from a legacy of his own. When these two faced off for the first time, it was fireworks. More than fireworks, to be honest, because their first fight ended in a brawl. Yep, a full-blown-out brawl. That's it! Oh, they can't stop. That's it! They can't stop. Now this viral moment called for a rematch. And if you thought the first fight was controversial, wait till you hear about the rematch. This rematch had it all. Trash talk, bad blood, and the kind of tension you could cut with a knife. But what no one expected was what went down in the middle of that fight. And now, with Mike Tyson's recent comments, we might have an explanation for one of the strangest moments in that bout. Now, if you were watching the fight, you remember this moment clear as day. Floyd was in the middle of handling business when suddenly, bam, the ref gets pulled and another one steps in. It was confusing and chaotic, and everyone was left wondering, what the heck just happened? Well, before we get to Mike Tyson's comments, 
Let's hear it from Joe Rogan. This guy was on Floyd's side, and the best way to judge Floyd is to see both sides through. Second time they fought. The first time they fought, it ended in a brawl. Like, uh, like a bunch of people jumped in the ring. It was crazy because they stopped the fight because they were talking too much shit to each other and holding on to each other too much. So the referee stopped the fight. For whatever reason, I don't know. And in this fight was even crazy too because the referee was the first referee was terrible, and the the referee called Floyd said Floyd Mayweather hit him behind the head, absolutely incorrect call. Floyd threw a right hand and it caught him on the side of the head, and the referee claimed that it was behind the head. So Floyd fired the referee in the middle of the bout. They, he stops the bell. He's like, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Because he's the promoter also. Well, I guess. I mean, also, it's Floyd Mayweather. Like, what's the referee going to do? Fuck you. You know, I'm going to stop the fight. Like, he, he, they, also, they're in Mexico City. Like, you could get killed. Like, just get out of the ring, buddy. So Floyd throws this punch, and he's 100%. This move by Floyd sent shockwaves to the boxing community. Commentators were stunned. The crowd was losing it, and social media was blowing up. Some fans were saying it was just another Mayweather stunt, while others were calling it a disgrace to the sport. But what no one expected was the rumor that would start swirling around after Mike Tyson spoke out. Fast forward to Tyson's recent interview. When asked about the Gotti rematch, Tyson dropped a hint that had everyone's ears perking up. He mentioned that the sudden ref switch wasn't just a coincidence. Mike Tyson stated, I've been in this sport long enough to know when something isn't right. I know everything that was going inside Floyd's camp. His trainers left him weeks before the fight. Floyd was coming to the gym with his grandson and just fooling around. The guy did not train. And as the fight got close, he hired a female trainer to do mitts with him. Floyd knew he didn't put the work in, so he did what he always does, resort to his evil ways. Mayweather won the fight, but at what cost? Ladies and gentlemen, Damas y Caballeros, this concludes Mayweather versus Gandhi exhibition. How about a round of applause? Recognizing their efforts, por favor, denles un aplauso por su actuación esta noche. Floyd Mayweather, John Gotti III. And Tyson isn't wrong. Mayweather was seen pulling up to the gym and just hanging out with his grandson and not putting the work in. Good. And all the training he did was limited to hitting mitts with a female coach who doesn't really have a solid background in the boxing industry. Tyson knew where he was getting at. Floyd didn't put any work in and got the ref fired when the fight started to slip from his hands. Let's talk about the timeline. The switch happened right when things were starting to heat up and Floyd was looking for a way to put Gotti away. Coincidence? Maybe. But when you add in Tyson's comments, it paints a different picture. Could there have been a behind the scenes deal to make sure Floyd stayed in control? Or was it simply a case of bad officiating? To really understand this, we have to look at Tyson and Floyd's history. These two have never been best friends, to say the least. Tyson has criticized Floyd in the past, calling him out for being more of a businessman than a true fighter. Floyd, on the other hand, has always brushed off Tyson's comments, focusing on his undefeated record. How do you feel about Floyd, though? Huh? How do you feel about awesome Floyd? Awesome fighter, great fighter. You know, 
he he's a little too into himself. You know, he should be. I was the same way too. But you have to come to reality some way. You have to, you have to bring your head down to God. We, you know, we're nothing to be fucking arrogant. Well, you expect us to be ignorant and arrogant. Look where we came from. That's why I asked the question earlier about you mentoring fighters because I feel like I feel like Floyd looked at you growing up like every other fighter. And the persona and the lifestyle was like growing up in the hood. We looked at it like that's Mike Tyson. We see the cars, the jewelry, the the the, the flair. Like you was a you was a movie star. You was a you was a hero. I didn't see that. Floyd always used his undefeated record to make the argument he was better than Mike Tyson. Let's just say Tyson wasn't a fan of that. We gonna come on record and say this. Out of all these guys in a history of boxing, yes. I've accomplished more than every fighter in the history of boxing. You mean, you mean as far as win, as far as undefeated, as far I mean, as belt, as far as... So it's not surprising to see Mike Tyson take digs at Money Mayweather. Perhaps Tyson should step up and fight Mayweather instead of Jake Paul. Now that would really shake things up for the boxing world. It's the fight of the century. But I'm pretty sure either guy would not want the smoke with the other. The least they can do now is fire shots on the internet. Mike Tyson has fired his shot. So let's see how Floyd reacts to these accusations. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.